all right you guys welcome back to this fourth part of the tutorial and in this video we are going to have a glimpse of the unit architecture so what unit so the unit architecture first takes the input of the file uh, we can set it by 256 cross 256 or you can set it by your own that is up to you but in this tutorial we are going to use 256 cross 256 images and then here 64 would be the filters that we are applying that that is a, a layer of 64 filters and a padding of 2 that is that will reduce our 572 to 570 and again we are going to do the same that is applying 64 filters and uh, uh, padding by 2 and then what we are seeing over here is a, a copy and crop that is we are going to copy some part of our the flattened out layer and uh, for example in this that is 568 cross 568 that is transformed into 392 cross 392 so before reaching out to the end let's go deep into the unit architecture so here the 568 cross 568 image that would be transformed into 284 uh, into 284 square okay so that that is the we are just going to half the image and uh, or we, what we can say that we are going to uh, resize our image into half and we are going to add some of, of the filters or precisely we are going to double our filters as you can see over here that is the filters have changed from 64 to 128 and uh, also we are using a padding of 2 so that has reduced our size from 284 to 282 and the same has been repeated over here that is uh, applying padding as you can see over here that is convolutional layer and then again we are going to deep dive once again and that is 280 by 2 that is 140 and then 138 and 136 and over here we are also reduce uh, sorry increasing our paddings uh, sorry uh, not paddings but we are increasing our filter layers that is from 128 to 256 also we are reducing the size again and again at each step so as you can see over here that is uh, the last step that is 512 uh, layers of filters that is been reduced to 32 by cross 32 then uh, 30 cross 30 and then again uh, 28 cross 28 and uh, here the size would be 56 cross 56 as we are just increasing that is up con uh, that uh, we are going to up con it and as well as the size is doubled so in the cl cliff side it was uh, reducing by half and the up upside that is multiplying by 2 so 56 cross 56 then the again the filter layers would be doubled at each side and so here would be 1024 but here as we go up the filter size are again reduced starting to be reduced so 56 cross 56 again we at the horizontal level we are decreasing it but on the vertical level we are increasing our size on the upper right so here it will be 52 and then 104 102 100 then 200 98 and 96 then 196 into 2 that is 392 and then the image yeah, sorry image would be uh, almost of 388 cross 388 having the filters of 2 so what we did over here was uh, simply just resizing it and uh, passing it to the convolutional so now the important and main thing is just cropping and uh, crop so what it does is that it segments out some part of the image and transform it or passes it to the further layers of the neural network and which help us to generalize and uh, localize our images as well as it works quite well or uh, i could so i should say quite precisely into the vanishing gradients effect in the deep, very deep uh, neural networks so this over here we can say is the uh, output layer and so what we are going to do over here is just 
copy the code that I have written for you in advance. So let's just get that one first. Toggle right, control V, and then the thing over here is we are just going to copy other things too that we can see over here right now. just going to indent it them nothing else alrighty so this is our first down convolutional so with 2d yep and we are just passing all the functions and third down sampling over here and then from here we are going to concatenate each and every thing that we have written so far and then uh, this is our model so let's run and okay it's been successfully run so now now what we are going to do is a very crucial part that is training our model before uh, I jump onto that let me just uh, explain you that what we have done over here so the first thing that we have done is we have the input size that is i am width and i am height that we have applied the 64 filters that uh, let me show you that thing all right so uh, on each side that we can see over here okay so filters first that is 64 that we can see over here sorry okay Yep, 64 filters that we are using currently and uh, in the next we are just uh, applying some filters and all that thing batch normalization obviously activation and uh, over here till over here that uh, this is the first down sampling that is the first red arrow that you are seeing over here so as soon as we are shifted down there the filters are changed to 128 the kernel size remains same as well as the padding is also the same so what we did over here is we just applied uh, each function over and over at the each iteration that we are going through the unit architecture fun fact uh, the name unit architecture came from the shape that is being uh, shown over here that is the u shape okay apart from that third down sampling that is 256 layers and then uh, this is the third down sampling so that would be 5 and 2 layers and at last so okay so the next thing that we are seeing over here that would be shifting from the downside to the upside so that could be seen over here that is using the strides and all that thing okay so up would be con 6 obviously 1 2 3 4 this 5 and then 6 yep so 6 would be uh, filters 5 and 2 obviously and then with f uh, kernel size 3 and padding would remain the same not the same but as a parameter same some uh, some people confuse it with the same thing that uh, we refer to as same but it is not the same okay jokes apart this would be uh, later on converted into the uh, up 7 that is over here and then up 8 and up 9 and at last that would be up 10 or con 10 that we are seeing over here which has a activation of sig point uh, all the other has uh, the activation of relu which you if you want you can change to leaky relu or something like that if you want but I would suggest that uh, you should stick with the ReLU as it's quite comfortable to use of it. Okay, so activation would be sigmoid that would uh, give us the output as 0 or 1 if we, we want or else it would just give us an output in uh, from 0 to 1 in any cases uh, as a continuous value. If uh, we just define the parameter that has a limit of 0 0.5 then it would just 
provide as input sorry output as a zero or one as a discrete values and at last we are just returning our model as the input as inputs and output as the con to uh, con layer of 10 and yep this was all for the unit architecture and then in the next part we are going to do is training our part uh, before that let me just mark it as training training the model yep okay sorry that was just okay so first we are going to define the epochs uh, let me just write epochs equal to uh, for current case let me just define as 2 then batch size I would say just keep it simple of 32 or standardized in the industry 32 we can change these parameters as per our learning rate would be 0. Point, not just 0. Point. let's just keep it 1 e power minus 4 all right uh, okay so now the important thing is uh, training train underscore generator that we have written in the previous videos okay guys if you have not seen that videos then please check out those videos because that are the foundations for this videos and the upcoming ones equal to we are as i have mentioned earlier that we are going to pass a dictionary that will contain the augmented objects that we are going to write for example rotation underscore range that would be 0 0.2 next would be the width that would be 0 0.05 and uh, again uh, height shift yep height shift would be let's just give that also 0 0.05 then shear range let's go range that would be 0 0.05 zoom range as well as horizontal flip flip mode nearest yep that is correct tab 9 good job okay then train gen that would be train generator obviously then tf underscore train because we are generating the train uh, on the train and then batch size we are going to pass as a parameter and then train generator args train okay train underscore generator args and then target size underscore size that would be i guess uh, i am underscore height comma i am underscore width yep that would be pretty much and uh the over the thing over here is that we have defined this for train gen so let's define this for test gen 2 test gen would be okay equal to train generator df underscore test batch size then test generator arcs okay 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 one thing important that i have missed that we are going to pass dictionary that we have written just up up and uh target size would remain the same target underscore size that would remain the same i am underscore height comma i am underscore width all right so that was it for our model and uh, in the next video i'm going to show how to do uh the training as well as some the some of our evaluation let's first run it and check it yep it's run quite good okay guys in the next video i'm going to show you how to output the model and uh, the model would run successfully as we are just having two epochs right now and i'll show you a shortcut for running the model on a gpu server that is free for you guys yep you heard it right free okay guys Till then, stay tuned. Bye.